everyone. Welcome to uh, my channel, Sweet Bay Laurel Emporium. Uh, this is Laurel, and um, I'm just going to do a video. I hope that you can hear me well enough. Um, my camera has been... I've raised my camera up quite a bit, so hopefully this will be better. So this is um, a thrift store um, haul as well as I stopped in at Dollar Tree. I actually live in a ha small hamlet in Alberta and there may be 225 people live here. Maybe. So, um, I don't, um, I only go shopping in town like once a week if that. And, um, I'm a half hour highway drive to, uh, to the, um, biggest shopping centers. So anyways, I did go to uh, a couple of different thrift stores today than I normally do, and I went to one that I haven't been in in, gosh, um, two years anyways. Um, I didn't get much in that one store, except um, I did buy some sh clothes, some shirts, um, but I did, did get a good deal on, um, when I went to the till, I asked if they had a senior's discount and she asked me if I was over 60. I said yes, and so I got 15% off, which was bonus, because um, you never know, you, so you have to ask. And then um, I got a 50 milliliter bottle of hand sanitizer for free. So what the heck, right? Um, I don't have it here to show you. Everybody knows what hand sanitizer looks like. It's I left it in my truck because I use it all the time. Even before this whole last two years of uh, stuff, I used it all the time anyways, especially when I was thrifting or garage sailing, whatever. So anyways, I did get this book in that one store, The Tale of Benjamin Bunny. It's actually in really good shape. I don't know how much I paid for it. I have no idea. Um, but I'm making some... I made some... Um, bunny journals for Easter because I have a uh, up two markets next week one is a farmer's market on Thursday and one is a Easter market on Saturday so I do have some Easter journals however I was also going to be making some uh, Beatrix Potter journals so I bought this one this is quite a nice little book so that is from that one store uh, the second thrift store I went to was Goodwill, and it was one that I hadn't been to um, in a long time because it's it's almost an hour drive for me. I did get this. This is uh, Rolodex. They had lots of them there, um, and this has um, it has little plastic covers on them, and the little you know. C to D dividers, whatever. Um, I wasn't going to get it, but I did because I realized that um, green tags were 50% off today, this week. So I actually worked at Goodwill um, before. So what Goodwill does is they, they rotate all their stock every four weeks. So this was 50% off this week. So next week, any green tags, or actually Sunday is when they do it, all the green tags will be pulled off the shelves and sent back to their intake center in Edmonton and recycled whatever. Um, their intake center in Edmonton, actually, you can go in there. I'm not sure of the address, but you can go in there and um, they, they sell everything that's there. They sell everything by the pound. So you go through the bins, buy what you want, go up to the till and they weigh everything and that's how you pay. I'm not sure how much pound, whatever, but um, I'm going to be checking that out and I will let you know. Um, so anyway, so this was on 50% off. So I thought, okay, well, it's half of 550, so I would buy it. However, I didn't get any books there, but what I did get was, do you recognize the handle? Um, yes, stamping up. They had so many stamping up punches there. I couldn't believe it. And you bet I looked, I rummaged through every, everything in that one area because they had sta uh, punches all over the place in that one area. And I looked and there was no whale tail punch. There was a lot of these punches. 
So I did get this, um, I guess, scalloped circle. I did get this tiny little circle one. I have no idea what size this is. This little circle, but it's it's probably half an inch. It's it's very small. And I bought this one, which is kind of got a a bit of a scalloped edge as well. This is probably an inch. Now the thing about these is this big this big one is probably an inch and a half. Look at the price on that. 20 bucks. Like, are they kidding? Um, $10.50 for this one and $10.50 for this one. And as you can see, they are green tags. That's the only reason why I bought these. Now, if there had been a will tell punch there, I would have bought it regardless of the green 50% um, off tag or not. However, these ones were only five, twenty-five, whatever. And but this one here, like twenty bucks, regular price. Like, come on, you know this is goodwill. These are donated. So, anyways, uh, that's my little bit of a complaint. But I did get them for fifty percent off, so I bought three of them. There was lots there, and the fact that they were still there on the week that they were on fifty percent off means that they were overpriced to begin with because these went out on 319 this one was priced on march 19th this one yeah march 19th yeah if you look on goodwill tags right here on the side it says 319 that's when they originally priced and put out and um so the fact that these were even still here on the half price week this was 314 um the fact that they were still there to be on half price means that they they were originally priced too high uh, because this is stamping up these would have been gone right um so anyway so that's just my kind of little bit of a whatever then i went to valley village i had some time to waste so i went to valley village i did buy this i don't know if you can see what this is um it's a i guess it's a book stand And um, I bought it for my market table so that I can put one of my feature journals on here to display it. So, anyways, that's why I bought that. Um, this is just a date timer that's never been used, and it's 2022. So it was a buck ninety nine. So I have a oh, I have a thing for buying date timers. Anyways, I did buy it hummed and hawed but now this is kind of cool this is small rotary cards these are what would have gone in the rolodex this is uh 400 cards um this was a dollar 99 this is for inkjet printers i did open it and have a peek to make sure um i don't know if you can see that my camera is pretty high. I can't tell. Anyways, it's Avery Laser Rotary Card. And you can print it, put it into your printer. And it does have the little punch out there for the little, you know, in the Rolodex. So I thought that was kind of cool. Since I now have a Rolodex, I bought that. Um, I did buy, I was actually, always keep an eye out for these. I have plenty now. These are photo albums. I actually got two of them. They had three, but the other one wasn't in great shape. This one obviously hasn't been out of its package. They're four ninety nine each. I guess that wasn't bad. It was a hundred pages in them. These are those albums, photo albums. You know, you peel this back, and they're sticky. Um, before you say, well, why would you buy that? I will show you. I saw this. Um, probably lots of you know Wendy's Journal Adventures, I think it's called. Someone sent her some, I guess, happy mail or something. And she was showing... Uh, it, it, but it, the video wasn't that long ago that she had put... And she had a binder. I think it was just a binder. And of ephemera. Um, fuzzy cut items that kind of thing and that was in those pages and I thought 
What a great idea. You know, for butterflies, whatever. So this actually is, um, I have two. One I did get, my first one I bought at, um, at the thrift store. This one I purchased through Amazon and it's cheap and it, yeah, not as good as the one. Um, anyways, this is the Tim Holtz guys, people, and some fussy cut flowers. Um, so yeah, mushrooms, fussy cut mushrooms. Um, in Wendy's um, book that she showed, the, the lady had put dividers in and put tab, you know, tabs and said what they were and stuff. I haven't done that. Um, there's a bunch of birds. All those bird houses. Some bigger pieces. Um, tickets and that. Anyways, I did, in my other one, which I don't have here, it's it's got all my Tracy labels. It's got all kinds of stuff in that one. And it's just about full. So I um yeah, so my Tim Holtz people are in here. So that's what I why I bought those two albums. I've got lots of stuff still to put in albums. And oh, it's so easy to find what you're looking for. When you're decorating, you just go through your book and it's right there. You just peel it back. I use little um, pointy um, tweezers and just peel it out. Like how easy. And you can see at a glance, it's so easy to see what you've got. And just take it out. And away you go. Um, better than my other three or four other systems that um, were not working very well. Um, so the last uh, thing I'm going to show you is my... Dollar Tree haul. Um, I went in one that I haven't been in a really long time. Um, so, yeah. These are glass bottle charms. And as you can see, they have a little cork and a little, um, little screw hook, whatever, on the top loop. And I saw someone suggested they put little beads or whatever sh like shaker shaker bo bottles and then um put them on their spine dangle or whatever so i just bought one package there's four in here i thought i'd give them a try um and i picked out these large paper clips they're like i don't know three inches i love these paper clips um i've been using them for years this has got eight pieces in and um I love them for clipping my journals together when I'm going to do um, pamphlet stitch. Um, I made a journal. I haven't done the um, flip through yet, but I made a journal with white and gold. And this is a butterfly in gold. I'm going to be making another journal because I just love that journal. And this is a silver butterfly because I'm going to make a silver one too. So um, I thought they were kind of neat. I, I see that I didn't notice in the store because I didn't really look. I see they're on a clip, but that could always be taken off. So I thought these would be nice on the for making the cover part. Um, I just got some uh, file finger fingernail file thingies. And I love their new stickers, these puffy ones. I make a lot of steampunk journals. And these are perfect. This is musical instruments and this is um, hot air balloons. I love these stickers. So I got those ones, puffy stickers. So I got those two. I got this stencil sheet. It's just birds. Um, I like to size the smaller birds. So I got that. Um, and I got three of these just because they were three different colors. So I got one of each color, um, silicone facial mask applicator. I think that you see, um, I think Roxy Creations was using one and I thought, well, that looks, um, so easy for like decoupage and stuff. So I thought I'd give them a try. Now these, um, oh. I bought two gift bags. I'm going to try it. Uh, some of my journals, 
um, I have gift bags that go with, like the journal comes in the gift bag. And so this is going to be for, this is kind of a neat one. I don't know if you can see the texture on there. This would be for the gold journal and this will be for the silver. This one here has um, some glitter and sort of embossing on it. I don't see, know if you can see the texture on there. Anyways, they're really cool. These here, I saw these before and took a picture and put it in um, one of the groups. And I got, I picked these up today because they had so many colors. These are bubble mailers. These are 11, and a half, 11 by 8 and a half inches. Um, but look at the cool colors. This one is red. And I'm sorry for the light shining. <laughs> they are really shiny. Um, one is silver, one is gold. And I thought I used some you know the bubble mailers that you get from amazon i use those and make covers journal covers so i thought i would try making journal covers with these if not uh they're not going to go to waste their fun uh mailers and these ones are the same these are nine by six inches inside dimensions um pink here's a silver one a green one and a gold one oh um, I guess they didn't have a red one in this size. They just had the pink one, which is fine. Um, but I thought they'd make cool journals. And again, like, if nothing else, I can mail um, um, flat pack or happy mail or something in them. Like, how fun is that, right? It almost looks like, oh, this looks like dragon skin. Oh, my gosh. I just got a journal, journal idea. Yeah, doesn't that look like dragon skin? Hmm. I will let you know if that uh, dragon skin um, comes to, um, gets made into a journal. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Anyways, that is um, my video for today. I think I got everything. Um, yeah, so mostly I just had fun. I went into some thrift stores I hadn't been into for quite, like, at least two years I haven't been into those two uh the value village is the one I go into all the time um but the other two locations I hadn't been into and that dollar tree I haven't been in that one in a really like two years at least so um anyways so that's it so hope you enjoyed and um I don't know if I'll be able to do this every week but you know it was fun and I'm glad to be part of the group in uh, thrifty connects um if here in Alberta, I will be at um, the Farmer's Market in Westlock, Westlock, Alberta, which is just north of Edmonton. Um, I will be there next Thursday, 11 to 3, I believe. Um, and um, if you need the address because you, you live nearby, you can um, just uh, put a comment in and I'll give you the address. And the... Um, the Easter market that I will be at on Saturday, I think it's 10 to 5, and they're supposed to have Easter Bunny and, and all kinds of Easter fun stuff and lots of different tables. That is, I think that's 10 to 5, um, and that is in Peabrook at their community hall. And again, um, that is a little bit further north of Westlock. And again, if you're in the area and you need the address, just put a comment below and I'll message you the address for those two markets and um yeah and if you happen to be in them check out my table I will have journals and uh, a little bit of um craft supplies uh new craft supplies scissors and that kind of stuff I did have a um I used to have a craft store of my uh, craft retail store of my own so I still have some inventory left over and we'll be trying to um I'm trying to uh, sell off uh, some leftover inventory. So I do have some craft supplies left and I will be uh, trying to sell those. Um, so anyways, thanks for um, watching and thanks for listening. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. I so appreciate you subscribing. Uh, let me know if there's any content that you'd like to see. And um, yeah, thanks for subscribing. Um, Please uh, share with your friends and, um, you know, yeah, like this video and 
uh, click the little bell for notifications and when I make another one. So thanks for being here and we'll um, see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.